Hey, I'm Coach Michael Burt, the Super Coach. Every week I come into your life, and I want to do three things. Multiply your life, multiply your money, multiply your business. Jack, I saw we had 184,000 downloads on our podcast. 184,000 downloads. Thank you, folks, for listening to Super Coach. You can get all of my podcasts now on any location that you're looking. Just search America's Coach. Tony Barnes, Tom Gavin, Dean Boyer. What's up, folks? Thomas Steve Davidson. Just go to any place where good podcasts can be listened to. Search America's Coach. You can get Flip the Switch, Person of Interest. We got some throwbacks, and we got all kinds of stuff. So today, because I'm on follow-up, folks, and I ain't stopping. I'm not stopping talking about follow-up until I do my event March 18th, the the in-person and virtual summit. March 18th, fanatical follow-up, and part of the follow-up is the close. The ability to get a person to take action. The ability to ask a hard question. The ability to, to, to move a person to a buying decision. So today on Super Coach, we're talking coffee and the slams is only for the closers. I'm Coach Michael Burt, and you're watching Super Coach. Everybody needs a coach in life. Coaching businesses and entrepreneurs like you to spike an additional 40% to your bottom line. Michael Burt is a multi-championship coach, best-selling author, trainer, motivator, and all-around super coach. Now, now, from the Greatness Factory Studios, this is Super Coach. All right, welcome to Super Coach. I'm Coach Michael Burt, live at the Greatness Factory Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Shout out to all the peeps, all the tycoons that went down to West Palm Beach with me last week. Sun shining, big yachts, lots of money, lots of, lots of interesting relationships down there, Jack. A lot of old men with a lot of young women. <laughs> they knew how to close. <laughs> Coach Michael Burt, today we're talking coffee is for closers. If you're out there and you're watching the show on Facebook, in my private Facebook group, you're on Coach Michael Burt, or you're in the Monster Nation, then let, let old Coach know you're out there. Give me a shout out. Where are you from? What do you want me to talk about today? Today I'm talking about follow-up and closing, folks. That is what we're talking about today. Every week I bring you a new podcast. Today we're talking about follow-up and closing. Follow-up and closing. I see follow-up, and I wrote the book Million Dollar Follow-Up. And the follow-up is about how you work a person and follow up with them and bring a, a level of interest to a conclusion. Right now, there's people you need to be following up with. There's opportunities that are out there. There's people you need to close. The word close means to bring two things together. You're bringing something to an end. Okay, so West Palm, I went down there. I had a great trip. There were opportunities that were presented to me, by me, for me, to other people. There's a perfect place for a greatness factory, Jack, down there, West Palm Beach. But I'd have to raise some capital. So here's the deal. I'm in a capital raising business now. About to release Monster Capital Fund number one, Monster Capital Fund number two. There's going to be people who are interested. they got to be followed up with. So to raise capital, we got to get the attorneys to draw it up. We got to have a person helping us raise the capital. We got to decide how much we're going to take for the greatness factory number one that we're building out, right? Wayne Pendle, like, like here's the deal, man. There's follow up. This is what I spend a bulk of my day doing: following up with people to help them make a decision. Follow up with people to help them make a decision. An idea is just an idea, okay? And I was listening to the Netflix founder the other day, and he was talking about, man, everybody's got ideas. Very few people have execution of ideas. Very few people know how to close the loop on an idea. Hey, I want to do this. Oh, this idea can make $10 million. There's a lot that has to go on to make $10 million. Somebody's got to follow up with somebody. Somebody's got to close somebody. So let's break it down and let's back it up and let's say, what does the word close means? It means to bring two things together. Okay, it means to bring two things together. It means to bring something to an end. So Thomas C. Davidson asked, uh, do I have a step-by-step -step follow-up process? And I do. I have a process to get a person's attention that is step-by-step. -step. It is a series, a series of linear touches, that's direct, and nonlinear touches, indirect. It includes video, audio text, intellectual property, 
testimonials. It includes uh, a way to get a person's attention. But the number one way you're going to get a person's attention is by raising your status, by doing something big in the world. If Elon Musk called you today, Thomas C. Davison, you would answer. If, Eli, if, if Trump called you today, Pastor Ken, you would answer. If Tom Cruise called you today, you would answer. So here's the deal. When people are not taking your call, they're putting you in a low status position. They're basically saying, man, you're trying to sell me something or I'm not interested. So number one, the best thing you could do in the follow-up to close people is become a person of interest so that people want to do business with you. They want to partner with you. You're doing big things. They're interested in you. The closing becomes easy. Bradley calls me, says, man, I want to do something. Okay, I'm in, man, because I want to do something with you. Right? When you're, so, so part of closing people is status. One person has a higher certainty. One person has a higher status. But, but really what it is, is is helping a person come to a decision. We know, if you watch me, if you're in my coaching program, that the word decide means to kill off. Decide, kill off, fear, insecurity. Today you're going to present ideas to people. They're going to have fear, insecurity, doubt, vacillation. They're going to sit. They're going to want to think. They're going to say the time is not right. It has to be sold. Nothing happens until something is sold. Somebody's got to sell and convince another person to take an action. And that action has got to help me make money or save money. When you present an idea to another person, you got to help. You got to help them make money, or you got to help them save money. When I'm text messaging a person, say you want to come to my, I got one bedroom left for the million dollar coaching getaway, where I teach you everything I know about coaching. It's in Seaside, Florida. It's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Would you be interested in going? Because if you're not, I'm going to pitch this to somebody else. Because I only got one bedroom left, right? I've got X number of spots at my lodge March 18th to teach you my fo fanatical follow-up system based on the best-selling book, Million Dollar Follow-Up. Would you like to be in the room with me for $57? If not, I need to ask somebody else. If you think it can help you, if it's helped other people, if we have people that said it's helped them make uh, double or triple their income, would you be interested in, in committing to your future and being in that million-dollar follow-up with me? And if the answer is yes, what's stopping you from signing up right now when I send the agreement over to you? There's a commitment. What we do is we look, we flirt, we smile, we present, we talk about it, we, we talk about ideas, but we don't bring those to a close. I call that sales flirting. You should say, hey, is this something you want to do? Is this something you're interested in doing? If it could help you like it's helped other people, what would stop you from doing it right now, right? Like, like if it could be valuable for you, what would keep you from moving forward with me right now? See, these are the hard questions that nobody wants to ask. And the hard questions are, have you seen enough to make a decision? If I send the contract to you right now, would you sign it? Are you ready to move forward on this? Would you like to take action? Okay. I can't help you to commit, but once you commit, I'm not going to let you fail. Folks, I had this guy on my sales team many years ago, and he would come in, and I would say, what you got going on? And he always say, man, I got 180000 in my pipeline. Always. The dude always had 180000 in his pipeline. Never closed any business, by the way. Never. It was always in his pipeline, right? And after a while, I'm like, look, dude, cut the crap. You, you, talking to people is not selling people. Telling people you, you have 180000 in your pipeline. I'm, 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 I'm feeding my pipeline. Okay, folks, you should be feeding your pipeline every day. That should not, these are not mutually exclusive to each other. Meaning, if you're feeding your pipeline, you should also be closing people because you don't make any commission dollars until you close a person. So you can't spend all week feeding the pipeline, talking to people, building rapport and relationship. Some people, you got to say, uh, man, hey, look, seems like you want to do this. You said you're interested in doing more with Coach Burt. Let me, let me get you in a room with him and five other people at its tycoon event that's coming up in Napa Valley in, in, in May, right? Like, this is where you need to be. You need to be in a room with the big boys and the big girls. What's stopping you from taking action on getting in the room with him? Like, right, right? Like, I'm thinking of people right now that need to be called. Jack, see? See, when I talk about this stuff, it turns into money, folks. And let me tell you why. See, right now you should have people, Jim Doyle. You should have people that you, you're like, man, I need to be calling that person, right? I need to be talking to that person. I need to be closing that person. Everybody who's watching this today should be sitting there going, man, I got people that I need to call and I'm interested in, okay? Hashim Muhammad from New York City, what's up? Trevor Hartz, 
Folks, we've got to close people down. We've got to quit talking. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Anybody can talk. i got a million dollars in my pipeline. I'm building my pipeline today. I'm calling people. I'm touching people. I'm loving on building rapport with people. Folks, those things do not produce revenue. What produces revenue is closing a person. So here's a question on a scale of 1 to 10. How serious are you about taking action? Because I only talk to the serious players. Now, I got something I think you would like. I think you'd be interested in. I'm going to present it to you. If you're not interested in it, we're going to move on to somebody who is interested because there's 7 billion people on planet Earth. And I can't give it to all of them. I'm going to give it to an exclusive group of people. I got two bedrooms in Napa Valley. If somebody's interested in going on a tycoon trip with me with five or six other big players that millions of dollars could be generated in. If you're interested, hey, hit me up right now and say I'm interested. I'd like to join you in Napa Valley. I want to be around people like that. I want to go to c- cool experiences like that with you, Coach, right? I can't help you to commit, man. Once you commit, I'm not going to let you fail. So would you put a deposit down right now? See, closing people is a transfer of confidence. Everybody is selling somebody every single day. Everybody is. And if you don't have the guts to close people, folks, then what happens is you just talk and you flirt. And when I use that term, sales flirting, what I'm really saying is you're presenting ideas, you're smiling, you're hand, handing out business cards, but you're not doing the one thing you got to do, which is ask for the business. Okay? And I'd love to see people who are out there and you say, man, I'm struggling with asking for the business. Okay? I coach a lot of health coaches. Look, it, it appears to me you want to get healthier. It appears to me you want to get in the best shape of your life. It appears to me you want to lose some of that gut you got on you. Okay, and if it, and if it's true, if I could show you a plan that I used to lose thirty pounds and get down to skinny coach Bert, would you be interested in talking about it? Thomas C. Davidson said the best way to close someone is by asking them why they would buy this product. The customer builds the value when they respond. Why would you be interested in this? What? How, how can you justify spending sixty five hundred bucks to go on a trip with me to Napa Valley? How could you? How? Why? How could you justify spending fifty-seven bucks to come spend a day with me on follow-up, which could result, by the way, in a lot more money? So today we're talking follow-up. Coffee is only for the closers, folks. It's only for the closers. I wrote a book called Million Dollar Follow-Up. It's free at my website. You can get it right now. You got to get out of this concept of of sales flirting, obfuscating, skirting around the truth, and you got to go for the clothes man no matter what as michael o'donnell would say you got to go for the clothes no matter what we come back in segment two i'm going to lead you in because thursday night i'm doing a free webinar just added this to the calendar free webinar on thursday night the seven best closes that i use and i got some good ones folks some ones that you're going to want to use and i guarantee you i tell people this in my coaching program i give them a close they go use it that day they make money isn't that cool I teach them something, they go do it, they make more money. That's what a good coach should do. So when we come back from the break, I'm going to get into this concept of transferring. When do you transfer the confidence to ask the question to go for the close? When the uncomfortable moment, when you're scared to ask for the money, there's a moment where you got to say, man, if I could do this for you today, would you sign the agreement right now? I'm Coach Michael Burt, and you're watching Super Coach. I'm Coach Michael Bird. I just finished a session on the explanation of service, and this is such a big concept. It's really a clarifying journey to get clear on what you believe, why you believe it, what you do, why you do it, how you do it different than other people, who you've done it for. It's a game changer. And today I wanted to drive home to my monster producer, the Monster Nation, that you don't want to do business with other people that don't believe the same things you do. It will create conflict and heartache in your life. Spend the time on the front end getting clear on what you believe, what they believe, why you believe it, what you do as a result. And know this, you're only looking for people that are looking for you. You're only, you don't have to convince and manipulate. Go out into the marketplace, share what you believe, and see who believes it too. That's who you want to do business with. All right, folks, welcome back. Welcome back. Mondays with Coach Burt. Monday Drive. Guys, I've been having a great day today. I've been in Nashville. I'm in Nashville. I've been out there. And uh, 
looking around, trying to find some good opportunities out in the world. I've been in West Palm Beach. I'm headed to Scottsdale, Arizona. Man, I'm really, really, really out there making some big moves and interested in helping you make some big moves and and, and interested in you not being a little Mitch. Mitches make excuses, folks. You can't make money and excuses at the same time. Some people talk about being big and some people go do something big. And that's just really the way it is. Okay, you you, you got to make a decision what you're going to be. Are you going to be a Mitch, make excuses and have a full pipeline but never close people? Or are you going to get the guts to go do it, man, and, and, and ask for the business? And here's the deal. You're not chasing people. You're not chasing people. You're interested in helping people. You have a solution to their problem. You are presenting an opportunity for them. You can bring tremendous value to their life. You are an expert at what it is you have. Now, to, but here's the deal. I can't help you until you commit to something and you see it through to its logical conclusion. I can't help. Hear, hear what I'm saying. There's a big part of the follow-up. The, the part of the follow-up that most people miss is I presented an idea to you. You seem interested in that idea. You believe that idea can help you. I've shown a demonstrated capacity of it helping other people, but I can't help you with the idea until you commit. But once you commit, I'm not going to let you fail at that idea. See, you got to have enough conviction. See, I here, here's what I do. I, there's a four-step process I use. Number one, I initiate. I initiate an idea. Number two, I disarm through connection. Number three, I locate a problem or sense an opportunity. Number four, I push a person to a compelling situation. Okay, I push them to a compelling opportunity, a compelling, um, a, 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 something that would compel them to take an action. Hey, if you can't do that, do this. Hey, be on there Thursday night with me. I'm going to talk about the seven best closes that I use. It's free. Come sit in. If you like it, then we'll talk about doing more. If you want to get better at your follow-up, hey, 57 bucks next Thursday at my lodge. You can be in the room or you can watch it. Hey, right? Let's do this, man. So the follow-up is, man, I see I'm getting myself excited, Jack. I really want to pick up the phone and call somebody right now and close them. Because it's energy, man. It's do you believe in your product or service or not? My buddy Tim Story told me this. First, you have a, con a revelation. Because of the revelation, you now have a conviction. Because of the conviction, you now are willing to take an action. And that's really what you're doing, man. You can't move until you take an action. I can't help you until you take an action. I can't, like I'm thinking about decisions, like me just talking about this today. There's big decisions I need to make, and dadgum it, boom, I'm making decisions right now in my brain. That is action. What you're doing is you're getting a person to commit to their future. And many times they're afraid to commit to their future. Why? Because they can't trust themselves, man. They've let themselves down too many times. They've told them, they've lied to themselves too many times. They got up in the morning and said, I'm going to change today, do something big today. But then when it comes down to spending the money to do it, they just don't do it. So what's got to happen is you have got to become a master follow-up person and you got to become great at closing. And closing is bringing two things together, bringing something to an end. Like I'm not going to leave this hanging out there anymore. For all the operations people that are dealing with problems and complaints and little mitches in the world, just bring it to an end, man. Saying, hey, we're dealing with this right now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next year. We're making a decision. We're killing something off. What are we killing off? That negative energy. The energy vampires that are sucking the life out of you. We're making a decision. Are you in or are you out? Do you want to do it or you do you not want to do it? On a scale of 1 to 10, how serious are you about getting better? Because if you're serious, you're going to commit with money and time and resources. And if you're not serious, then why are we talking about this? Just imagine all the BS, Jack, that people talk about all the time because they just can't make a freaking decision. How much time is wasted on people who can't make a decision? How much time is wasted with people who vacillate back and forth? How much time is wasted on just not being direct with people? This is what we have. This is how it can help you. It can't help you until we close the gap here. So would you like to move forward or not move forward? Right? Some, sometimes it's just me transferring confidence to you so you can help a person take an action. So let's wrap it up here, folks. Today we're talking coffees for closers. Co what, what that is, here's the deal. Confidence is for closers. Execution is for closers. The big money is for closers. Uh, uh, pr amateurs make amateur money. Professionals make professional money because they have a, a toughness and a, and, a, and a discipline to them, Pastor Ken, 
Okay, so 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 go out and present your ideas to people, right? That's why I love that verse in the Bible where Jesus commissions the disciples to go from city to city and stop in. He said, "You don't need any equipment." This is a great sales line. You don't need any equipment. You don't need a fancy PDF. You don't need a downloadable uh, something to present. You need you. You are the equipment. Share the message, and if they don't like it, shake the dust off your sandals and keep on moving, folks. But you got to present the idea, and you got to do it with conviction. You've had a big revelation. Because of the revelation, you now have a conviction. Because of the conviction, you're now willing to take an action. And I can't help you until you commit. Now, there's two things for you to commit to today by watching this. Number one, a good coach should help you make more money. They should help you bring clarity to your confusion. They should help you, right? They should help you accelerate. So I want to accelerate. Thursday night, I'm going to give you the seven best closes I've ever had. It's 5 p.m. webinar at 5 p.m. Central. You can register now. It's completely free to you. I'd like to get three or 400 people on that, maybe three or 4,000 eventually. And then next Thursday, I'm doing a full day at my lodge on fanatical follow-up. I'm excited, man, because this has changed. This has changed the way I follow up. I am recommitted to following up on opportunity, leads, business, people, pursuits of mine. Like my conviction today is at an all-time freaking high. On fall. I'm tired of watching other people get opportunity I should get. I'm sick of watching people that, that hadn't worked as hard as me to get where they are. I'm, I'm ready to follow up on opportunity and close deals, folks. So if you're ready like me, let's roll, okay? Get on there for Thursday night. Sign up for 57 bucks. Get your whole team on there on the follow-up next week, and quit sales flirt. I'm calling somebody as soon as I get off the phone. And I'm going to say, man, it don't seem like you want to do this. It don't seem like you're committed to do this. So let's just move on to somebody who is seriously interested. The coffee and the confidence and the closers and the Advil care slams are for the closers, folks. Quit sales flirting. Quit talking. Quit dreaming. Quit talking about things you're going to do at some point. When somebody does this, and pick up that phone. And call right now and close somebody down. Because I can't help you to commit. But once you commit, I'm not going to let you fail. I'm Coach Michael Burt. And this is another edition of Super Coach. Being coached by coach is awesome. Everybody needs a coach in life. So it's intense. I feel like my favorite part about it, honestly, is it makes you stop and think, but then act right away. So for me, my switch was flipped. Being around the people that are at this event, being around coach Michael Burt and, and everything that he kind of like instilled in me in the past couple days, it was just incredible experience. All I'm gonna tell you is that you guys are missing out if you're not here. Within the first minutes of me walking in here, my money was already paid. And it's not only gonna be just the people in the environment, it's the things that you can notice, the small things that you can notice. After I met him, I came back home and I had a different energy with me. And that energy allowed me to fuel my business and completely grow it. He is the real deal. What you see online or, or anywhere else on social media, he's that same guy in person. And so I really found him to be authentic and relatable to me. I came to flip the switch basically to activate the prey drive. I feel like I was operating at amateur and I'm leaving here today just like, not even pro, like a whole nother level. So if you're watching this video, you already know it's something you need to do.